Tom, Dick, and Harry don't have anything on this list. Today we're taking stock of the most popular baby names through the decades. Why was every girl from middle school named Ashley? Why are all of your exes named Matt? Why is every woman over 50 named Karen? Sit back and let us explain. First on our list might be affectionately called Bob, Bobby, or Bobbert, but formerly it's Robert. Famous in the 1920s, the name Robert was taken from the Germanic name meaning bright fame. A little on the nose if you ask us. With legends like Robert De Niro and Robert Downey Jr. still dominating our screens today, Robert is pretty timeless. Mary Mary Quite Contrary You are popular as heck! Mary has been around since the 12th century and has been one of the most popular feminine names since the 1500s. Having daughters called Mary was especially popular among Christian families because of its iconic biblical ties. Jimmy jamming into the 1930s, it's James. Though it's been around for thousands of years, the name grew very popular after Scottish King James VI inherited the English throne in the 17th century. Something about James just screams leadership, as six Jameses have occupied the White House over the years, making it the most common first name of the American presidency. It's America's most consistently popular name. Hail to the Chief James. A name that's its own slang, Betty is next on our list. Betty is technically a nickname for Elizabeth, which became extremely popular after the reign of Queen Elizabeth I in the 16th century. Since a trend with popular baby names correlating to the rulers of the era, people are still loving the name Betty today. Taylor Swift even gave the moniker to a song on her 2020 album Folklore. John was the bee's knees in the 1940s. Its meaning is God is gracious, but it's been euphemistically used as slang for everything from a toilet to a solicitor of prostitution. And in the long form, warm pants. Derived from the Hebrew name Yahweh, John owes much of its long-term popularity to biblical characters John the Baptist and John the Apostle. Whether Lennon, Kennedy, or Wayne, Johns have always made headlines. The next name on our list is derived from the ancient Germanic word meaning soft and mild, and the Spanish and Portuguese word for pretty and beautiful. Linda! The name started to gain popularity in the 1930s, peaking in the 40s. A popular diminutive for the name is Lynn. Not always the perfect angel, it's Michael. Starting its soar to popularity in the 1930s, Michael reached the number one spot in 1954 and stayed at number one straight through 1998. Over 40 years at the top of the list, Michael's long hold on number one makes it one of the greatest names of all time. Everyone wants to be like Mike. Next on our list is everyone's favorite Arquette, Patricia. The feminine version of Patrick, Patricia wasn't really used as a name until it hit the scene in 18th century Scotland. Centuries later, it rose to popularity in the 1950s, ranking in the top 10 of the decade. Patty, Patsy, Trish, Trisha, there's near a dozen diminutives. We love this mid-century classic. Next up, it's the second best Arquette. Hi, David! It boasts biblical origins and is well known thanks to the story of David versus Goliath. David has always ranked in the top 30 boys' names in the US since they started keeping records and was the number one boys' name in Britain during the 1950s and 60s, giving us legendary Davids such as Bowie, Beckham, and Tennant. Cheers, lads. Everybody remain calm. It's Karen. Despite the amount of shade Karens are receiving these days, in the 60s, it was the most popular name for baby girls. Thanks to an early 2000s joke by Dane Cook, Karen became an adjective describing the friend that nobody likes. Today, the meaning has morphed to describe a woman, usually white, who commits acts in public that are perceived to be racist or unjust. Let's just say, meme culture has not been kind.
Names don't get more biblical than Christ. It's Christopher. Early Christians began using the name to show that they carried Christ in their hearts and on their ID cards. Christopher became wildly popular in the U.S. in the late 20th century and remained in the top 10 until just a few years ago. Hollywood has seen a number of famous Christophers over the years. And we just can't decide who's best. The classic friend up next is Jen. Well, Jennifer. A Cornish form of the Welsh name Gwynefer, Jennifer only began being commonly used outside of Cornwall in the early 1900s and exploded in international popularity in the 70s. Nowhere was it more ubiquitous than in North America, where Jen seemed to define a generation. The wildly popular film Love Story made Jennifer the new Juliet. But if you ask us, love means never having to say you're Jen. The next name on our list might think they're God's gift, because that's the original meaning of Matthew. This common biblical name traces its origins back to the Hebrew word meaning gift of God. It soared in popularity in the 80s thanks to Matthew Broderick and his hit film Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Matthew's Matt's and Maddie's were soon everywhere, leaving teachers to drone, Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. Not many names on this list can claim Shakespearean origins, but Jessica can, having first appeared in the play Merchant of Venice. Reaching peak popularity in the mid-80s, Jessica held on to the number one spot from 1985 to 1995. See, there's a reason half of your middle school homeroom was named Jess. Being Moses' sidekick gets you some major cred, including making your name famous. Joshua is based on the Hebrew name meaning God is salvation and began being used as an English name in 16th century Europe. Joshua exploded to popularity in the late 20th century, ranking in the top five for a solid decade between 1990 and 2000. Famous Joshuas include Jackson, Dumel, and Chazé. Yep, JC is secretly a Josh. The top girl's name of the 90s, Ashley, though technically gender neutral, was commonly used as a boy's name in the US until it transitioned into a girl's name starting in the 1960s and exploded in popularity, reaching number one in the ranking through the 90s. A variation on the ash tree, we know Ashley's as Tisdale's, Judd's, and half of the Olsen twins. Though derived from the same origin as the most common boy's name of all time, Jacob ain't no James. Slower to gain popularity, Jacob finally popped off in the 2000s, taking rank as the number one boy's name from 1999 to 2012. Diminutives include Kobe and Jeb, but Jake is really what gave this name the boost, thanks in small part to early 2000s teen idol Jake Gyllenhaal, yowza. The Roman Empire didn't last nearly as long as our next name, which got its origins from the Roman word Emilius. It's Emily. Meaning to strive or excel, Emily did just that, bounding to the top of the charts in the early 2000s. From classic literatures Bronte and Dickinson to modern screens Blunt and Deschanel, Emilies have spent generations striving for excellence. Known for his big boat, the next name on our list rose to the top of the pool centuries later. It's Noah. The name first became common in the 1980s, but became one of the most popular boys' names of the 2010s. Thanks to the boom, there are quite a few preteen Noahs floating around today. Emma, that's a popular name. Emma's gained international rank as the most popular girl's name in the early 2010s throughout the US and Europe. Emma's were truly everywhere in the early aughts, thanks to the popular teen films of the day. Hats off to Stone, Watson, and Roberts. Emma's everywhere owe you a debt. There wasn't much else to do in 2020 besides watch docu-series, so something tells us that The Last Dance has a lot to do with Jordan topping the gender-neutral name charts these days. Though it was one of the leading gender-neutral names of the 90s during Michael Jordan's reign as king of the court, it's still popular as ever. Truly a goat name for any gender. Many Irish surnames have made for excellent gender-neutral first names over the years. See 
Ryan, Kelly, and Quinn. And the most popular 2020 baby name, Riley. Riley has been rising in popularity as a gender neutral name in the US over the last decade, landing it at the top in 2020. Parents are all riled up over Riley. If you didn't see your name on this list, don't dismay, you're just unique. For every James, there is a Jamie. For every John, there is a Jonathan. And for every Robert, there is a Bobbert. Sorry, Bobbert. Well, that's it for us. We got a jet. Karen just showed up and she is not happy.